How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink from 3D Central here, and if you're a fan of early MS-DOS video games like I am, you've probably heard of Commander Keen. That's because it's a really classic id software early MS-DOS side-scroller, and today I'm going to show you how I made this. And this is Commander Keen's ray gun from the cover art of Aliens Ate My Babysitter, which was one of the last Commander Keen games that id software made. And this was modeled in Fusion 360, 3D printed, and then sanded and painted and given this really nice gloss candy apple red paint job. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made it, show you how I painted it, and show you how to download one and make your own. You ready? Let's do it! I modeled Commander Keen's ray gun in Fusion 360, and I designed it so that the two main components, the barrel and the body, are two separate pieces, so when they print out, you can print them in two separate colors if you want to, silver and red, or you can print them out in whatever color you want and then go back and paint them. And they're actually sort of snap fit, so there's a tolerance in the body to snap the barrel into, and that also gives you a spot to mount them, which makes painting a lot easier. You can see right out of the printer, there's kind of a rough texture, so first we have to sand the part completely, and we use a couple different grits of sandpaper to get it smooth. And once it's smoothed down, we can give it a couple coats of gloss paint, and then go back and add some of the detail work. And once that's finished, we have our completed ray gun, which looks fantastic. Great! Now you know everything you need to know to build one of these for yourself. You can find all the links in the description for where to download this, and if you take your time building it, you wind up with this really cool mirrored finish, and it's just comes out looking really great. If you build one of these, be sure to tag us in the pictures. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all across the internet at 3D Central VA. That's our handle on pretty much every social media network. Uh, you can find more links in the description where to download this and various other information in the description below. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Big shout out to John Romero and all the artists who worked on this game. This was a really big game for me growing up, so it's really cool to be able to design something for it and 3D print it, it's just a really cool feeling. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.